Hi, I'm Brendan Quinnarkin, a commercial pilot and certified flight instructor. Today we'll be flying this Cessna 172 from the Reed Hillview Airport in San Jose over to the Half Moon Bay Airport. Before we get started with the airplane, let's go back inside and take care of our pre-flight planning. Ground Skyhawk 6525 Delta at Squadron 2 with Oscar via par 2 Half Moon Bay. Cessna 6525 Delta, ready to be ground, afternoon runway 31 right, taxi by Zoo and verify again you had Oscar. Uh, affirmative, we have information Oscar, taxi 231 right via taxiway Zoo, Blue Skyhawk 25 Delta. Cessna 25 Delta, remain outside class Charlie airspace until in contact with San Jose Tower and expect a straight out departure. Clock 0362. Okay, remaining outside of San Jose's Class Charlie until in contact with uh, San Jose Tower. Squawk is 0362 for Skyhawk 25 Delta. Thanks. As I make this turn up here, I'm going to take a look at the turn coordinator, and I want the miniature aircraft to turn as I turn, and I want the heading indicator to turn as I turn as well. Right, contact ground. So I'm going to taxi out into the uh, middle of the runway, line up, and I'm going to slide my feet from off the brakes to the bottom of the pedal, so I'm not pushing on the brakes. I have to raise the nose here. And we're airborne. Okay, I'm going to do the uh, climb checklist. Climbing at 70 to 80 knots. At or below 2,000. heading 270 for Skyhawk 25 Delta. We've been assigned a heading of 270, so I'm turning right to 270. And he wants us now below 2,000, so we need to bring the power back and start a descent. So the power has come down to 2,200 RPM. I'm uh, pushing forward with the controls and trimming down a little bit. And we'll start a little bit of a descent back down below 2,000 feet. And we're flying right over the uh, north end of San Jose International right now. So we have a 500 feet per minute descent, going down to 2,000 feet, heading 270. Okay, we're at 2,000. I'm going to add a little power back and raise the nose just a little bit. And I want it to trim off so I don't have to hold any pressure. If I let go of the plane, it stays pretty much doing what I want, so that's good. Plus 25 Delta, contact NorCal approach, 120.1. 120.1 from Skyhawk 25 Delta. Change this to 120.1. Juliet Papa, San Jose Tower, runway 30 left at Charlie, line up and wait. And we're flying right over Stanford at this time. Cross overhead uh, the Half Moon Bay Airport. You can see the Half Moon Bay Airport's right over here. They come over the water, and then we're going to position to uh, cross midfield at 1,500. Half Moon Bay traffic, Skyhawk 6525 Deltas over the water just south of the airport. We'll be flying midfield 1,500 and doing a teardrop entry into right traffic for 3-0 Half Moon Bay. And we want to come down at 60. We're a little faster than that because we're high and have a more steep angle of descent. 
Baffin Bay traffic, Skyhawk 6525 Delta is taking runway 30 for a right downwind departure, half of Bay. And our GPS tells us that we have 24.9 nautical miles to go to Reed Hillview, and we're doing 106 knots over the ground. Cessna 25 Delta runway 31 left, clear to land. 31 left, clear to land, 25 Delta. Carburetor is going to come on as soon as I bring the power back further. Fuel is on both, and then we'll use flaps. Landing checklist is complete. We're being the touchdown Series point. Eight, one, three, power two, down three, two, tower. Make left 1,500 RPM. Left. I'm going to pull the carburetor heat. Left, three, three, the carburetor heat on. I'm going to so do the Tabri 901 Lima flaps. Okay, so we're lined up with the runway. We have 60 on the airspeed. And we have a little bit of power, so everything is looking good. I'm adding a little bit of power because I sense that we're sinking just a little bit more than I want to. Okay, so I've added a little bit of power. Now I'm going to bring the power back down. Okay, and we're just going to continue just like this until we're about 5 to 10 feet off the runway. Then we're going to level off and bring the power to idle. And then as we sink, we're going to rest.